What's up everybody? It's Mr. Kozad again with another video lesson for you. Uh, this time we're going to be talking about solving systems of equations using inverse matrices. This is a method that I would highly advise you to master, to learn how to do it forwards, backwards, know it like the back of your hand. Uh, because solving systems using inverse matrices is really quick, it's really efficient, it's really consistently going to help you get the correct solution. Okay, And here's why it's valuable for you. Uh, even if a quiz or a test item asks you to specifically solve a system using elimination or substitution, you can use inverse matrices to either check your work or tell you what the solution is supposed to be before you even start so that when you use the substitution or elimina elimination method, whatever algebraic method you're using, it's a lot easier to know what the solution is supposed to be before you start. Um, and honestly, if problems don't specify a method to use, you can always use inverse matrices to solve this, no problem. Okay. So like I said, really important for you to understand this method, so let's get right into it. This will be the example that we use today to go through uh, setting up and solving a system using inverse matrices. Okay. So as you see here, we've got three variables, x, y, and z, and three equations. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to write an equation uh, that it will be called the uh, coefficient matrix. So we'll call that matrix A. Matrix A, again, is going to be called the coefficient matrix, and it's going to be a matrix that we just have the coefficients of our variables. The first column are going to be the coefficients of x. The second column will be the coefficients of y. The third column will be the coefficients of z. So let's go through each column. The first thing I'm looking at are the coefficients of x. So I'm just looking at the coefficients. I don't even need the, the variable x. So I've got 8, 3, negative 1. My y coefficients are negative 2, negative 1, and 3. My z coefficients are 1, 4, negative 2. Okay. The next uh, matrix you're going to need to write is we'll call matrix B. And this will be what we call the solution matrix. The solution matrix is going to be really easy. It's just going to be the three solutions or the three values that each equation equals. Okay. So the first equation equals negative 6. The second equation equals 13. The third equation equals negative 15. Until you get really good at using the uh, graphing calculator, I would encourage you to write these matrices out so that you can double check and make sure the hardest thing about this is making sure that you copy the values correctly because if you mess up on one of these values it's going to throw the entire uh, equation off okay your entire solution so it's really important to write this out for right now until you get more comfortable with the calculator okay now before we actually get into the calculator let me show you kind of what we're doing here okay so essentially what we have here is we have matrix A and we're multiplying the coefficients by the variables. Okay, x, y, and z. That'll give us this system if we actually worked it out. Okay? And that we know that that's going to equal our solutions. Okay, so that was uh, we said that was matrix B. Okay? All right, the way that we're going to solve this is if this were a regular equation, what you would do is you would want to get x, y, and z, your variables, all by itself. So to do that, we need to figure out a way to divide by matrix A. Well, actually, instead of figuring out a way to divide by matrix A, what we're going to actually do is we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by the inverse of matrix A. Multiplying by the inverse is another way to get rid of uh, a coefficient that you're trying to eliminate. Okay. So what that would essentially look like when we were done is we'd have our variables x, y, and z, and they would equal the inverse of a. The way we'd notate that is we'd do matrix A to the negative 1 power times matrix B. So this essentially is the, the method that you're going to use to solve systems using inverse matrices. So to do that, we need to input matrix A and matrix B in our graphing calculator. So get one of those out if you have one. Okay. Now, uh, the first thing that I would do is make sure that your memory is cleared. Okay. The easiest way to do that is second 
plus seven one two if you haven't have memorized that yet you should it's an easy thing to remember second plus seven one two now to input matrices here's where you're gonna go there's an entire matrix menu here okay the matrix menu is this blue uh, function right between math and right above the inverse key so you're gonna go to second matrix and this should be the screen that you see so we're gonna scroll over to edit and we're gonna edit matrix A now hopefully you learned in class that we're gonna uh, the dimensions of a matrix are its rows by its columns so matrix A has three rows by three columns it's a three by three matrix and then you're gonna just go through and input these values so the calculator is gonna go left to right so just make sure that you're inputting these values just like I'm doing here pay very close attention to what you're doing again because the biggest mistake that people make is they make one little error in inputting one value and like I said earlier it's gonna throw off everything off so let's go we've got matrix A completed one little uh, thing to note make sure that uh, you actually press enter after each number so that it actually is inputted into the matrix okay so let's go back to our matrix menu second matrix let's go over to edit and we're gonna go down to matrix B Now, matrix B again if we if the dimensions of a matrix are rows by columns we have one row two row three rows and one column so matrix B needs to be a three by one matrix and then we enter our solutions negative 6 13 negative 15 remember remember to press enter when you type in negative 15 so now let's get back to our home screen the best way to do that is second quit quit is right above mode second quit gets you back to your home screen okay so now let's take a look at how we can recreate this on our calculator so I want matrix A to get that I go back to my matrix menu second matrix and I'm gonna just gonna select matrix A okay it should take you back to your home screen and you should see matrix A the inverse button is right below math and then we're going to multiply that <clears throat> excuse me by matrix B so go back to your matrix menu and just select matrix B so our home screen should look like this then when we press enter what we get is negative 2 negative 3 and 4 so if we think about that in the context of our equation that we had here we know that this is going to equal negative 2 negative three four negative two negative three four in other words my x value is negative two my y value is negative three my z value is four you just solve that system of equations really really quickly and really pretty easily okay the better you get at this you're gonna actually gonna be able to solve systems of equations like this in probably less than 30 seconds now some of the calculators have a special feature that allows you to maybe do this a little bit quicker that I know some of you and some of your tutors have shown you so I'll go through another way that you could do the same process okay if you hit alpha F3 alpha F3 up at the top it's gonna bring up a menu that looks like this that's gonna actually allow you to input a matrix pretty quickly so you just need to tell it what type of matrix you want so you change your row number to three and your column number to three and you come down here to OK. <clears throat> then what it's going to let you do is it's going to actually let you input this matrix. Now a trick here uh, that I've kind of learned the hard way is when you you can't press enter to uh, move from uh, location to location in your matrix. You actually have to um, put, use the arrows. You have to actually use your arrows which really isn't that bad but uh, just remember that's a little different than uh, when we input the matrices um, in the calculator to store them okay so then we're done you hit uh, you right click one more time so that your cursors on the outside and remember we want to take the inverse of this matrix so hit your inverse button and then we want to multiply this by matrix B so to do that go back to alpha F3 and this time let's change this to a 3 by 1 matrix so I need to change my column number to one and then it's gonna populate a three by one matrix for me 
and I'll just type in negative 6, 13, negative 15. Okay? So I've inputted everything correctly, and I press enter, and it solves that equation for me. So we get the same solution two different ways. Okay? All right. These, uh, this method is actually just so, so important that you understand, okay? Really, the most important thing to remember is how to input matrices in the calculator and this relationship here, okay? You've got to remember this, that the inverse of A times B is how you're going to set this up and solve it, okay? So, remember that, practice this, and you're going to do awesome. I'll catch up with you later.